Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I'm making a video that features the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and the Blackmagic Bluetooth Plus app. This app can be used to control certain features of the camera from a smartphone or tablet. So basically, you would connect to the camera over Bluetooth and it would allow you to control various aspects of the camera if you are, let's say, a, a person that's shooting on your own, where there's, there's no one behind the camera, or maybe there are multiple people, but you want to be able to control certain facets of it, even though you're not the camera operator. I have made a video that shows the basic walkthrough of the app. I will share that here in the cards, so you can go back and refer to that if what I show here today doesn't answer all your questions. Some of the things I'm gonna cover are what you can control and why certain things can't be controlled in, in this app, why you might need uh, other options. So first thing you do is you're going to open your app on your phone. and you're gonna select your camera, and then you're gonna click the connect button. Now what's happening is over Bluetooth, the app is connecting to the camera to allow you to access certain things. So here we are. You can see right now, we are recording. It's telling us what card we are recording to, and a basic rundown of uh, the timestamp that we are presently on. So, um, you can see right here we can control white balance, we can control, uh, uh, basically we can make three preset white balances, we can change uh, the tint, and there's many other things from this page you could do. You can change your frame rate, your iris, your shutter uh, angle, your ISO, or actually you can even set up auto exposure presets where Based on the uh, the auto exposure setting you choose, it'll control certain aspects of your exposure based on those presets. So um, again, all this is controllable from from the app. Where if you're off camera, or if maybe you like how I am right here, there's no one behind the camera. I basically just hit record, and then I'm, I'm talking into the camera. No one else is in my studio, just me. So. Um, the next one is the uh, the focus uh, control, which is really what I wanted to feature uh, on this video. So um, when you have a micro four thirds lens like I have here on the camera, you're able to control your focus from the app and you have three marks that you can set, your A, your B, and your C mark. So let's say for example, my camera was out of focus. And now I wanted to get the camera back in the focus. I could literally, with the app, find my focus point, and then by holding A, B, or C, I can set my mark. So there we go. Right now, I've just set A mark as the focus on me. Now let's say if I wanted to focus on something else in the shot, like maybe my background. I can focus on that. I could hit B or C, and that is going to reset my, my B mark to that focus point. And now, with a push of a button, I can refocus my camera. Back to me. To the background. Or back to me again and I also with this app can control the speed in which it goes from these these focus marks so um, that's a very powerful option and it works with the micro four-thirds lenses that you attach to the camera I was not able to get this to work with a lens that has a speed booster or a lens adapter connected between the lens and the camera. 
So you would have to look at another option, like let's say this small rig mini follow focus kit. So basically this would connect to your small rig cage and allow you to control your focus from the, the camera with this follow focus kit. And that's just one option. There's many other options you could explore. Again, I don't know that this works with the app the way I just showed with any other lens that isn't a micro four thirds lens. I only have one other lens that I was able to try and it would not work. So my assumption is it only works with micro four thirds lenses. If you have an external monitor like what I have here on my camera, it makes it real easy to use this. You literally can sit down in front of your camera, open up the app, be looking at your monitor, your, your off camera monitor, whether it's on a, a tripod or mounted on top of your camera like I have here, and you can set your focus right from where you're sitting. And knowing that every shot you make is gonna be in focus. That's pretty powerful. If you have a camera set up already, chances are you've got an external monitor um, that you're already using. Or you've got an HDMI output from this camera. You could literally could set up a, another a computer monitor and go HDMI into that monitor, and there you go. You're going to have a, a feed into that. So you'll be able to, you're not limited is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and some of the naysayers that say that um, the lack of a, a, an autofocus or the lack of an articulating screen are negatives, I mean, I get it, but to get the price point that you get this camera at, there's going to be things that it's not going to have. It, it, it can't have everything or else it's going to be a $4,000 camera. You know, the fact that you can get it for under $1,300, in this case, if you get it on eBay, a used one, you can get it for half the cost, maybe. You're just not, you're not going to find a, 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 I think, a better camera with the functionality that you get out of it for a better price. Again, I, I am understanding that the features that it lacks were to get a, a price point that they thought they wanted to hit with this camera. The features that are on the camera that allow you to connect other peripherals to it, like the Bluetooth Plus app and an external monitor, really negate some of the things that would otherwise be looked at as a negative for the camera. So I'm going to shoot a couple more videos here in the, in the coming weeks inside the studio just to get, try to explore more of the possibilities with this camera and the app. Eventually, I'm going to get out and about with the camera so I can shoot maybe like on location type of shots so that I can really show some of the other features that this camera has that aren't, aren't allowed here in the studio. And if you have any questions or comments about what I've showed here today, or if you are aware of an app that you can download that allows you to actually view a, a feed from your camera without needing an external monitor like what I have set up here, please share that. Again, I'm new to the Pocket Cinema camera line. Every time I turn this camera on, I'm learning something new. So please feel free to share any information that would help not just me, but anyone that's watching this video. If you have any questions that you'd like to pose to me or any comments you'd like to make, please feel free to email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And again, I'll be making more videos here in the future. So if you're interested in this content or the way that I deliver my content, please uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification icon so that you will get notification anytime I make a new video. And until then, I hope you guys stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye now.